Hey guys, these are timeless noted messages. So if these messages resonate with you, likey, 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 subscribe, 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 you guys. So I'm getting um I'm getting a few things actually. I'm getting um I ain't no punta. My name is Kane. I keep my panties clean. Okay. <laughs> Ace of coins on the bottom of that. I'm also getting um I wanna go back to Georgia. I wanna go back. So somebody's from Atlanta, Georgia, or somebody wants to go back to Atlanta. Maybe they visit Atlanta or they wanna go back to Georgia here. Okay. New York could be very significant. Chicago could be very significant. Michigan. Okay, could be very significant. Um, I want to go back to Georgia. RuPaul could be very significant. Uh, Crooklyn and Spike Lee could be very significant. Video pro movie production or video production could be very significant here. Maybe that's something that you are into. Maybe you went to school for this, or maybe you want to be a screen player or a writer, or somebody is a screen player or a writer here, or this is something that you really want to pursue here. My root chakra is tingling here. Okay. So this is something that you are embedded in. This is something that you, this could be a, a screenwriter, a writer, a songwriter. It could be any type of writer. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting this energy of a writer period. So take this how it resonate here. Okay. Whatever you do, you speak out, whatever you do, my, I'm getting chills. Whatever you do, you speak out. And I feel like whatever, however you're speaking out or whatever you're writing, your writings have messages with them. Okay. Strongly getting the image of Spike Lee. Okay. I'm thinking about him with his glass. He always has his glasses on. So you may be a writer like him, or you may be somebody who is similar to, you may like his, um, the way he move or the way he write his screenplays. There's something about screenplays here. Okay. I'm also getting this energy of you. I feel like you're on, you're in your element or you're, you're stepping into your element. Cause I've seen the ace of coins. So I'm, I'm getting this, um, new, it's not new for you. This is something that you are reviving and bringing back to your life. Okay. You're, you're coming back. It's like, I'm coming back home or I'm, I'm coming back to my purpose. Somebody is coming back to their purpose. They may have been hiding out or something here. Yeah, I'm strongly getting like somebody may have learned something, learned some type of lesson, learned something new, and I feel like somebody's ready to step back into the scene, okay? Queen of Cups, Mother of Baskets here, okay? Somebody is flourishing, okay? Flowers, roses could be very significant, okay? Don't really matter. I got the Queen of Cups, but I could be talking to a male or a female. I could be talking to a masculine that's getting into their feminine energy, which is fertility okay somebody is um embracing some type of new endeavor but i don't think it's something new i think it's something that's embedded in somebody but they're ready to blossom okay this is a caterpillar turning into a butterfly okay is that all i got Yeah, I feel like the, the coast is clear, the sky is clear for whoever this is. It's it's ready. It's 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 like <laughs> it, it it has been cooking and it's ready. It's like you're ready to come out into the scene here. It's like ah I'm ready. Okay. Um eleven eleven could be very significant. Seventeen could be very significant. I'm also getting this energy of I don't think, I'm not sure if this is your energy or not, or this is something that you're stepping out of. Okay, I'm getting, something is getting taken away. Okay, this could be a child or this is something that's taken away from a child or somebody who is uh, immature as adult here. This also could be somebody childish ways is, 
if somebody is stepping out of their childish ways or if somebody is stepping out of some type of young mindset or naive mindset or foolish or childish mindset, okay? Could be either or, okay? I feel like whoever this is, they can be acting really childish, okay? This may be something that's not good for this person or this is something that they don't deserve or... Whoever this is, uh, it's something that's being taken away. And I feel like this is something that's good for this person to be taken away from. They don't deserve whatever that is given to them. Or it's like on the verge of something being taken away. Okay. It's like taking candy from a child or taking a toy from a spoiled child. Okay. It, it's something that they don't deserve or don't know how to take care of. Either way, whoever this is, is pissed off right now, okay? They're, they're having a hissy fit about it. I'm getting, and you're not getting it back. Like when a mother say, when a mother take away something from a child and they're, and they're like, and you're not getting it back until you do good or you're just not getting something back, Okay. Um, this could have been something that could have been stolen or forbidden or something. And it may not belong to this child or it may not, a child may not belong to somebody or something is, um, something is forbidden or something. It may not belong to someone. I'm hearing it's not yours. Okay. I'm here. I'm seeing somebody snatching something away from somebody. Okay. I'm hearing security, security. I'm seeing security guard with a bag. Uh, it says security. You're wearing black, black and yellow. Okay. That may be significant. Like I'm hearing somebody like call the cops, call the cops, security, security. Okay. I'm getting hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husband. Cause whoever this is, is a thief. Like somebody is stealing something here. Okay. It's like a con or a desperado, okay? I'm getting this maybe like, whatever this is, I just feel like this may be kind of like fundamental for you, okay? Or somebody else. I'm strongly getting like, this is something that you are teaching somebody here. This is fundamental for you, okay? And someone else is learning a karmic lesson, okay? It's like a treacherous karmic lesson. It's heart-wrenching, whatever this is here. Okay, bottom of the deck, four coins here. This is something that somebody may have been holding on to, okay? But while they was holding on to it, it's almost like they was, it's, this is a founder, okay? This is somebody who finds gold. I'm seeing an image of Leprechaun, okay? It's like, find me gold, okay? Somebody, somebody may be dealing with somebody who is taking money from them that they may have built up on their own, Okay? I'm strongly getting like somebody is like, it, it, it's like a, uh, it's like a dwindling of finances here, but it wasn't, it's, it's like something that's low vibrational. It's like somebody is spending money on something that's low vibrational is what I'm getting here. There's a sense here of, of self-discovery. There's a, there's a lesson here. Okay. It's like a transformation and a purpose here. Okay. It's like somebody is learning a karmic lesson or also on a self-discovery. Okay. Strongly transformation is what I'm getting here. Transition here. Okay. It's like as someone is have it's like it's it's like as if as somebody is having a chance to reevaluate something, but will they actually see the enlightenment is what I'm getting here. Because someone is still like like I said, this is somebody who's still in some type of bu bubble. They're in transition. I'm seeing a human body inside of some type of bubble. I'm thinking about the movie Bubble, okay? Somebody feel like they have to stay here or they feel like they're, to they're, they're toxic or they're sick or something here or somebody feels like the outside world is going to make them sick or something or somebody is terrified of something here. They're terrified of turning into a butterfly, okay? It's like, it's, it's like somebody is worrying too much about somebody stealing something from them or somebody is just like, worry too much about stealing something from somebody else okay it's like will they actually see the lesson at hand and i feel like there is somebody who is looking at this as it may be like a teacher a guru or um maybe like a mother figure that is like this may be actually fundamental for somebody or 
They may be trying to uplift somebody or help them go the right path. And it may be fundamental for whoever this is, okay? Whoever this is that's looking at things as a fundamental thing. This is somebody who, this may be an experience for this person. Something about the human mind, something about psychology, okay? So maybe somebody is a psychology major or somebody is... A therapist or something here. I'm strongly getting therapist vibes. I'm seeing somebody who is wearing glasses. So Spike Lee could be very significant. So somebody is probably trying to either teach somebody a lesson or send a message out. I'll make it as simple as that. Okay. So your overall energy. I just spent 10 minutes on my intuition. So that I feel like that is something that's very major here. So I'm going to try to... Keep it, keep it moving here, okay? So in your overall energy, you got four coins, ace of knives, six of coins, and yeah, bishop here. Bishop is here, okay? Somebody is having a transformation here. Somebody is, this is somebody who's really having, this is somebody who's having an awakening here, okay? And I feel like whoever this is, is it's, it's, un, it's unexpected for one. Okay, this is feeling like a fucking disaster for this person because this person may be a little confused and in pain. Okay, this is like the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit here. Okay, I don't want to get all religious and spiritual here, but this is definitely okay. If you look at this, this is definitely a tower moment for this person here. This is a transformation and awakening here. Okay, this may be somebody who is actually. This could be somebody right now that's staying reserved in this energy because somebody is getting some type of mental clarity that they're getting what they deserve here. I don't think this is like a bad thing. This is somebody who is getting some type of investments. They're also receiving some type of gift because they're having an awakening here, okay? If you get my drift here, okay? This is a new beginning for somebody here. Somebody is realizing the truth that Whatever steps that they may have been making here, they been it, it was the right choice. This is a breakthrough. This is could this is a reality check. Okay, this is actually somebody who is about to get some type of victory or, or success here. This could be somebody who actually is communicating probably with their awakening here, embracing their awakening, embracing their tower, embracing their tower moment here. Because somebody is seeing something here, okay? It's clear as day somebody is seeing something. 12, 1 o'clock here. They're seeing something at another perspective. Okay, guys? Whoever this is, somebody is seeing something at another perspective here, okay? This is somebody who may... Their mindset is changing here. They're changing how they see a situation here. They're looking at it with a magnifying glass here, okay? I'm seeing Spike Lee again, okay? Somebody is seeing whatever that their investments is. I feel like they need to protect it. Okay. Seven of coins and the son of knives here, okay? Whatever seeds that this person has been planting here, they're seeing things coming to fruition here. And I feel like with this son of knives here, somebody is planning their, their manifestations, okay? They're planting whatever seeds they have been planted here and they are gung-ho about this here, okay? Whoever is trying to come and steal something from somebody here, this person is willing, ready and willing to cut somebody fucking head off, okay? I'm here, off with your okay because whoever this is they're determined to have victory and success here you got railroad bill and john horse which is the chariot card and the emperor card whoever this is is determined to have victory and success and overcoming some type of obstacles here it could be an emperor here it could be a cancer or an aries here okay this this person is like they are literally focusing, concentrated on some type of goals, okay? The ball is literally in this emperor's court here, okay? The letters GPY, DMV could be very significant here. This is alchemy energy here. This is an alchemist here, okay? This could be a minister or a priest here. They probably, or or this is probably somebody who may have been like a minister or a priest or a hierophant energy in the past, but they're an emperor here. This is somebody who has a lot of power, okay? This is a yes card. This is somebody who is a go-getter, okay? I'm strongly getting like somebody is... 
they getting on they oh, this is somebody who needs to get on their shit here i feel like they already are with the seven of coins here and they're gung-ho with getting some type of victory and success here i'm strongly getting somebody also is worrying about this is somebody who really is trying to they're they, they're really focused and concentrating on overcoming some type of obstacles with their soulmate here okay this is actually really beautiful here because right after you have the three of coins here, okay? Whoever their soulmate is, this could be somebody who probably is into like um, divinations, esoteric, or they're probably really knowledgeable or somebody who's into spirituality here. Whoever this is, they see nothing but commitment and goals with this person here. This is somebody who they want to collab with, okay? Somebody who, prob who they probably want to do business with here. Okay, Sun of Six, Garden, and Three of Baskets here. This is somebody who they want to message here, okay? Whoever this is that they want to message here, this is somebody who is like, they're watering their own garden as well here. This is somebody who is minding their business, watering their own garden here, okay? This is somebody who may, maybe their seeds may have been growing here. This could be somebody who has a flower garden where they like growing plants here, okay? Somebody wants to message this person. They see this person as a perfect fit for them, okay? I love this deck and I keep saying it over and over again, okay? 16 on the clock here. I feel like somebody is, something is unexpectedly changing here for somebody here and I feel like this is a very beautiful thing here. This could be in a reunion here. Oh, look, this is twenty. I sat 11, 11 earlier here. So this is somebody's twin flame here. This is a reunion. Somebody's having a reunion with their twin flame here. They may actually be dreaming about this person. Mother of coins here, okay? This is somebody who they may be married to or this is somebody who they want to marry here, okay? But maybe this person feel like they're, I ain't no punta. I keep my panties clean. Maybe they feel like this this they're forbidden to be around this person is what I'm getting here. Okay, because this person is the will of fortune here. Okay, this is somebody who is literally their soulmate. Something may have happened in the past here, whereas though this person feel like they're forbidden, but this is their twin flame. It's like you can't get away from your twin flame for real, for real. I don't care what nobody say. People always be like, I, I learned the lesson with my twin flame. I'm done with that person. But it's like y'all, it's it's two in one. It's like y'all really stuck with each other for real, for real. It sounds really crazy, but it's just like y'all are twin flames. Y'all think alike. Y'all feel the same type of things. Whoever this person is, that may that they may feel forbidden from this person here. This could be somebody, Aunt Caroline is a tarot card reader here. This is somebody who may they not may this person became like a millionaire on their own this is somebody who you don't have to be a tarot card reader but this is somebody who built a business on their own and and became a millionaire on their own here okay this is somebody who is self-made this could be why somebody is probably for feeling like they're forbidden to be around this person here they're focused on this person here father of baskets Whoever this person is, could be this Emperor Railroad Bill energy here. This person is completely in love with Aunt Caroline here, okay? Which is the the will of fortune here, okay? This, they're, they're completely in love with their soulmate. I mean, I can't. This is a positive change here, okay? Somebody feels heartbroken here because they may have made the wrong choice here. Yeah, they chose somebody else here who could have been like really dark, or they chose somebody else who may have given them some type of, um, I'm not going to say illusion. It could be an illusion. See, they, they chose somebody else and whoever the person was could have been like an Ursula type of energy. They may have promised them some type of lifestyle or they promised them something and it really wasn't victory and success is what I'm getting here. Okay, so maybe this person... <sighs> Maybe this person is feeling a little guilty about that. Okay. I absolutely love this deck. I mean, I want to go back to Georgia. I want to go back. That is very significant for somebody. I'm not even sure if that song was actually playing on that movie, but that song is in my head. I think that might be the song that was playing in the background with RuPaul, okay? So at the present time, you have... Father of Coins. Yes, it is. Yes. 
the big queen, okay, the empress. Five of coins, ace of baskets, five of sticks, ten of baskets, the grandchildren, star energy, big mama, sun, two of pentacles, and them bones here. So somebody is realizing some type of truth here, okay? This could be somebody who is staying reserved in this energy here. Father of coins, big queen, and five of coins here. This is somebody who... This could be this could be somebody who is married to an empress here or the empress is married to their king of pentacles here. This is a counterpart couple, okay? This could be two people that may be filling out in the cold. But in this deck, the five of coins is somebody who is really trying to revive their revive their self or revive their connection. This could be two people who are trying to um they're healing yourself. This is somebody who, these are two people who is healing themselves or they're healing their connection here. Because right after you have the Ace of Baskets here. So somebody may be actually having a new beginning with their Empress or the King of Pentacles energy. Either or, this is a counterpart situation that may be um, a new beginning for both of you guys. It's looking like this is a healing type of energy here. This is a new beginning, a new start. Um, this is definitely feelings from the purest form here. This is a new romance, overflowing of love here, okay? This is happiness and joy here, okay? Two people love each other and two people want to begin with each other because this is pure love. And then there is the five of sticks, so 21 on the clock. Somebody definitely is closing out a cycle with people who is actually getting away of this connection here. This could be competition, rivalry, an enemy, somebody who is trying to stir up some type of pointless fight, trying to challenge somebody, trying to compete, compete with somebody. This is like five other people that is gossiping about this connection here because literally this connection is literally the ten of baskets here, okay? It's like a whole bunch of people is jealous of this star energy, this ten of cups energy. Somebody is jealous that somebody is having a renewal with that person, healing something with that person, and they're reserved in this energy here. This is peace. This is happiness. This is somebody who has a family with somebody or somebody is going to have a family with somebody. Okay? I feel like somebody needs to sit the fuck down here. Okay? Then you got Big Mama, Two of Pentacles, and them bones here. So obviously with this star energy, with this grandchildren energy here, I feel like this is, whatever this is, um, this renewal, this is something that's going to be very successful here. Somebody has clarity and truth that they need to protect this connection here. This is nothing but blessings, good luck, success, truth, okay? I feel like somebody is very confident in this connection here is what I'm getting here, okay? Somebody is making a choice and... It's looking like with them bones here, it's looking like somebody is making a judgment call about this energy here. This is somebody who is having some type of forgiveness or awakening here. And I feel like there is people on the outskirts that's really shocked and maybe feeling a little hurt about some type of truth here. Or somebody is realizing that somebody else is making a decision about the truth here. Okay? I hope that made that clear. Okay? So it's looking like somebody is... In the middle of all of this, literally, is the five of six. So, in the middle of this happiness, this joy, this new beginning here, there's a bunch of people, could be about like four or five people that's talking shit or they're trying to rob up some type of pointless conflict here, okay? This could be that childish energy that is feeling like something belongs to them or this is that childish energy where it's though somebody, a toy is being taken away from a child, okay? Back to my intuition, okay? So I'm getting, somebody may have to call the cops on this person, okay? This is somebody who wants to fight, argue, because maybe this person's a little in denial here. This is a lot of frustration and gossip here, okay? I'm strongly getting, um, the police is being called or security is being called on this person here. This is about a twin flame energy here, okay? Security is being called. The cops is being called. Somebody needs to get a restraining order. Okay, somebody. The law and order is involved here. I don't see any swords in this energy at all. 
but I'm getting this energy where as though somebody needs to call the cops, okay? They're, the cops is involved in whatever this is here, okay? Tell me more about this energy here. I'm getting a very beautiful energy in, in, in this overall um, present time, okay? So we're going to clarify this because I feel like maybe people think that they can get in the middle of this energy here. I'm strongly getting like this is a twin flame journey here. And I feel like people are trying to get in the midst of it. Whoever these people are, I'm strongly getting like these people. Like I said, this could be fundamental to maybe two people or this is fundamental to somebody and somebody else is learning some type of karmic lesson here. All right. I want to go back to Georgia. Somebody don't want something to change. They want to go back to something. They want to go back to where they came from here or somebody is going back to where they came from here. Okay, tell me more. Nine of Wands. Knight of Cups in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Swords in reverse. The Hangman in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. Ace of Wands, Judgment in Reverse, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Queen of Swords in Reverse, Queen of Cups, The Devil in Reverse, Eight of Swords in Reverse, King of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody made their fucking decision here is what I'm getting here. It's looking like somebody is letting go and freeing their self, okay? Somebody has awakened to the idea of them letting go of something here. It could be somebody who's blocking off their emotions from somebody who is holding on to them or they are holding on to somebody else. But somebody is isolating yourself um, because they may be awakening to somebody's bullshit or they may be awakening to some type of conflict or gossip here. I'm strongly getting, um, I, don't, I don't see a whole bunch of cops. I'm just seeing like one or two cops that's being called or somebody is, is calling the, the, somebody's calling the authorities here or the authorities involved in whatever the situation is, okay? Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, okay? It's looking like somebody is guarding themselves from this Knight of Cups energy here. This could be somebody who they are revoking an offer from or revoking an offer with here. This could be somebody who... They bring nothing but bad news or they're a troublemaker or some sort. This is not going anywhere. If this person is starting starting some type of conflict or they're trying to rub up some type of gossip here, this shit ain't fucking manifesting here. It's not going anywhere. Whoever this person is, they constantly... It's like they're looking to see whatever gossip plants that they may have planted. They want to see if it actually work here. Obviously, with the Ten of Swords in reverse... The hangman in reverse, nine of swords in reverse. This ain't going no fucking where, okay? I feel like somebody may be surviving some type of disaster from somebody who may have tried to hurt him, hurt him or them. Oh, I said him. So somebody tried to hurt him, okay? And I, I feel like somebody is whoever's trying to manifest some type of trouble here. This person is realizing that somebody is the fuck over it, okay? Somebody is disinterested in this reckless type of behavior here, okay? Somebody is realizing that somebody is basically detached from some type of negative pattern or somebody is completely detached from some type of negative pattern. But what I'm getting is the person who is trying to manifest some type of trouble or bad news to come into fruition here, this person is not... It's almost like they're not seeing the lesson or they're not learning the lesson here. They're not getting some type of enlightenment here, okay? Because whoever this is, this is somebody who is really unhappy with their self or very disappointed because whoever this is, is really going through some type of mental breakdown. I mean, I feel like this person literally has a chance to actually change how they look at some a situation and look at it as a lesson, but I feel like this person is not... It's like they're not getting it, okay? This is somebody who's very discontent or whatever this is here. This could be about somebody who is having a new beginning. This is why somebody is very discontent that somebody is having new passion or a new beginning here. They do not like it here. But this is a karmic lesson for somebody here, okay? You got the judgment in reverse, seven of swords in reverse, and a queen of swords in reverse. Whoever this is, it's like... The lesson is there, but instead this person is trying to manifest 
some type of gossip or manifest something to come into fruition here. They want to be in between this Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups energy here. They want to be the reason why something is not going to work here. This could be somebody who really has psychological issues, okay? This could be somebody who's not all the way at the top core. This could be a strong Libra, Aquarius energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Scorpio. Virgo, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. this is somebody who, I feel like this person already got caught doing something malicious, okay, um, and they're doing it again, it's like somebody who is not, they're not grasping the lesson here, okay, this is a, a big karmic lesson for somebody that somebody's not learning here, somebody would rather be malicious, um spread have a have a smear campaign spread some type of lies okay i feel like this is somebody who just likes to be unfair they're a very dark person here okay whoever this queen of swords and reverse is they may not really like who this queen of cups is this queen of cups is somebody who is very intuitive very sweet very loving here they don't like this person they just really don't fucking like this person they probably hate that this person is this way they probably hate that this person is intuitive and this person is not this is two different type of people here the queen of swords in reverse is somebody who's not really that that intelligent they're they're really close-minded could be somebody who could be like a little idiotic they're always in their head could be a narcissist type of energy here okay this person rather be ruthless cruel cold and brutal towards somebody to gain to gain some type of control but the real person who really have the control is the queen of cups this is somebody who is psychic, very intuitive, somebody who's into their spirituality here. This person really has the keys, okay? Emotionally mature, okay? This is an emotionally immature person and an emotionally mature person. Who do you think is actually going to win in, in, in it all? It depends, okay, right? It depends on how this person, this person takes this energy here. But with the Queen of Cups energy, they're psychic and very intuitive, so... You do the judgment here, okay? I shouldn't have to tell you guys, okay? The devil in reverse, the uh, eight of swords in reverse, king of pentacles in reverse, king of wands in reverse, ace of pentacles in the ace of pentacles here. Somebody is just completely detaching, freeing herself, gaining their power back, their independence back, overcoming addictions right now. King of Pentacles here, bettering herself, leaving the dark energy behind here. This could be this King of Pentacles, King of Wands energy here. This person is taking action on their life. Okay, freeing herself, using their common sense, taking control, healing herself. Feeling the fuck in power here. I'm seeing the image of Spike Lee here, okay? Standing up to some type of abuse. And while they're standing up to some type of abuse here, I feel like I'm making a testimony for somebody, okay? While they're standing up to some type of abuse and freeing themselves, they're feeling very relieved here because right after that, this person not even realizing that they're having some type of new beginning here. This could be a financial new beginning, planning their finances, um... Family planning here. This is somebody who is getting some type of new beginning here. And this is wonderful here. As they let go of some type of toxic energy here. Okay. This is somebody who is letting yourself go. Letting, not letting yourself go. So <laughs> letting situations go and blocking off their emotions from shit that just no longer serve them. Okay. Um, letting go of people who abuse their power of authority here. Okay. I'm going to pull from this deck because I feel like... This is a very wonderful reading here, and I feel like I just feel like somebody is in the midst trying to invade in somebody's. Um, they're invading and invading in somebody's space here. It's like they're trying to ruin this person. Is what I'm getting here. It's like somebody don't want to see somebody with this Empress or this Queen of Cups energy here. They're going to be sadly, sadly mistaken here. Somebody is going to get some type of truth here. This is how, this is how their face is going to be. Okay. 33 on the clock here. Somebody is getting, they're, they're, they're about to see some type of truth here. Okay. Somebody's third eye is about to be wide the fuck open once they get this lesson here. Okay. But will they actually see the lesson here? Or will they actually see that 
or or they actually is going to see darkness or they're going to see hatred or they're going to see that they're they're going to see the negative side of it all and not take the heed here okay I'm not getting a good look for this person here because I'm strongly getting like somebody is feeling let down and disappointed here. Okay, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy here. Somebody is feeling let down and disappointed. Pisces energy here. Libra, Aries, Taurus. Yeah. Strongly. Capricorn, Virgo. Sagittarius. Will they actually learn the lesson? Like I said, this is fundamental. This is very fundamental to you or to somebody else. And someone else is learning a karmic lesson here. This is something that's not, they're, they're not really happy about whatever this lesson is because it exudes with them actually losing here. A wonderful surprise is coming here. Okay, I'm gonna literally take these cards here and I might shuffle again because they literally was all over the place here. I mean, we have time, <laughs> I guess. But on the bottom of the deck, you have a message is trying to reach you, be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you here, okay? Somebody is learning how to protect herself from dark entities here. Somebody is learning how to end shit that no longer serve them, okay? A wonderful surprise is coming. Something entirely new awaits you here. That's the sun. This is new, okay? I feel like somebody is... This is going to be a surprise to whoever this king is, okay? I feel like this is somebody who is taking action with... Their money, their finances, maybe taking action on their business or whatever their endeavors are. And they're going to be surprised with this uh, new beginning here. And I feel like somebody else may be a little livid about that. This may be somebody who actually tried to hold this person back. This could be somebody who tried to hold this person back because with the Knight of Cups energy, this could be somebody who may have been having one night stands with this person or they wanted this person to stay in this type of player type of energy here or somebody was dealing with a player that wants them to stay in some type of energy because it makes them feel good okay a lotus within you awakes yeah this is somebody who's having an awakening here this is such a wonderful um energy here okay a lotus a lotus within you awakes you are a master in light on high okay this is beautiful here somebody is having an awakening here and while they're having an awakening here they're seeing this um empress here that's all they see okay the love of your dragon reaches out to you the room of your truth is opening up here somebody's spirit guys is here with them okay they're helping them see See the light, for real, for real. This is beautiful. I love this reading. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, I don't know what I feel. It's feel really good. I just really feel happy for you guys that you guys are stepping into this Ace of Pentacles energy here. It don't have to be about money. It can be about your aura. It can be about your energy here. Somebody energy, they're better in yourself. The King of Pentacles is somebody who's better in herself. This could be, uh, um, this could be a Taurus, Aries energy here, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo energy here. This is beautiful here. But I'm gonna pull for the meditation messages here. Okay. Yeah, a wonderful surprise is coming for this person. It's like this person is getting some type of a, a gift or a spiritual gift or an awakening. It's like powerful though. It's like really powerful is what I'm getting here. Okay. Very. Angel number 4321. Okay. Counting down to the new beginning. Oh, this is somebody who is counting down to the new beginning here, right here. Literally counting down to the new beginning here. Counting down. Well, as they detach and free themselves and gain their independence here, this is somebody who is getting their lip back. They're getting their power back. 
I'm sure this person's family members is really proud of them and happy that they're getting their lick back or happy that they're getting back to whoever they are, like their real self, okay? Third party is involved here, okay? A day is um, one, uh, something is happening during the day, okay? First impression is everything, okay? Somebody is a weirdo here. So this third party is a goddamn weirdo here, okay? Maybe somebody seen it, the first impression, and they probably ignored it here. Lipstick could be very significant here. A game. Somebody was playing a game here. Knight of Cups in reverse here. Bothered by your existence here. Somebody's bothered probably by your existence or this empress existence or this or this family situation existence here you have the power here this is what somebody is learning here okay you have the power somebody is caucasian here okay movies could be very significant okay Crooklyn could be very significant okay somebody's on your shit list here okay I love you. Oh, somebody loves you. Never hold grudges here, okay? Somebody loves you and they never hold grudges or they never will hold grudges on you, okay? Okay? Don't overthink it, okay? Knife house here. Connect with higher learning, thoughts, travel, movement, and shifting here, okay? This is what somebody needs to focus on, their knife house here. Whatever you're in your knife house is, you need to learn, you need to worry about these four or five things, okay? Let's focus on that, okay? Whatever's in your knife house, this is all the things that you need to focus on, okay? Um, intimidate. Somebody is intimidated here, Okay? Evidence. There's some type of evidence involved. Number 24 can be very significant. The letter N could be very significant. Like I said, this is police is involved or an investigation is involved about somebody here who, who could be the third party or the weirdo here. Okay. Help each other heal. Okay. Somebody's Dominican here. Somebody's Dominican or Caucasian here. Okay. Build your self-esteem. New creative idea, okay? Somebody have a new creative idea here, okay? Build your self-esteem. This new creative idea is going to help you build your self-esteem here. White highlight, which is this, okay? So white highlight is very significant, okay? Maybe you guys need a white highlight, okay? On a hunt. Somebody's on a hunt. I strongly feel like somebody's on a hunt to a new beginning here, a new financial new beginning here, Okay? Something is flourishing or somebody is flourishing, okay? Something is a flourish, okay? Intoxicating. And this new beginning is very intoxicating here. Middle school could be very significant. Loving person could be very significant, which could be the Queen of Cups energy, okay? I feel like a, a weirdo-ass third party is, is just bothered about some, some type of existence here. Uh, police is going to be called here. Somebody probably is trying to manipulate or is trying to bring some type of troubles or bad news because somebody has broken an offer from them or something is unrequited here. This could be a twin flame journey as well here. And I feel like somebody is not learning some type of lesson here. Not your problem, not anybody else's problem here. Look, you got four, four of pentacles in reverse, queen of wands in reverse, five of swords in reverse, and the ten of cups in reverse here. It's looking like somebody is letting go of this queen of wands in reverse here. Could be this emperor here. He's looking right at the five of swords in reverse here. Which is somebody who is ending some type of dysfunctional connection or moving on from some type of dysfunctional family situation here. They're saying no, because whatever this is, is a fucking failure here. Somebody is not repeating a cycle with somebody here. They're starting off with a new beginning here, okay? They're, they're, they're leaving. This is somebody who's moving the fuck on. I don't know what else to say here, okay? Somebody's moving forward here, okay? But um, I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, these are timeless noted messages here. If these messages resonate with you, likey, 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 subscribe, 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 you guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Smooches.